NATO not expecting quick end to conflict in Ukraine. Russia and Ukraine's armed confrontation is likely to end in 2023, which means that NATO should expand its support to Kiev, the party said at a meeting of the alliance's military committee in Brussels. NATO member countries are being pushed to significantly raise defense spending and make changes in order for them to facilitate waging war in the digital era. Neza Vizimaya Gazita writes, Meetings of the NATO military committee are typically followed by the adoption of decisions affecting all members of the bloc. And this time, the chiefs of staff met for two days before the 9th Ramstein conference, where it's offered to make a decision on supplying the Ukrainian army with Leopard 2 tanks. Several countries are willing to transfer them, but only with the approval of the manufacturing country, Germany. NATO Deputy Secretary General Mircha Joanna encouraged members of NATO's military committee to be prepared for the fact that defense spending and arms production will have to increase sharply. He described as outdated the 2% of GDP figure that the alliance member states should spend on defense needs. He called for improving NATO's production capability for weapons and ammunition and used the Ukrainian-Russian conflict as a lesson. Joanna also warned against underestimating Russia's military capability and advised everyone to brace themselves for a long conflict. NATO, in other terms, is expecting to undergo a radical reconstruction. Neza Vizimaya Gazita writes, The organization is now evolving into a full-fledged military bloc with a potential foe and objectives to achieve.